Hello people, welcome to uh, Tom's Tips. And just recently uh, one of our members asked me if I could um, demonstrate how a frost sat works. But I haven't got one, so this is just a normal sat. And I'm going to try and take the mystery out of it, how it works. So this is a normal uh, room sat. We have a turn it up. It's thrown that lamp up there, that's because I've connected inside to a lamp. Turn it down and it goes off. And that all all the stat is, whether it's a room stat or a frost stat, it's a switch. It's on or off. That's all it is. Well, it's worked by temperature rather than an actual toddle. So what I want to do now is go to show you inside of this and how it works. So here we have the stat itself, and I'm going to take that off. And what we've got there is just a live and neutral, because that's all there is really to, to um, any sort of wiring, it's a live wire and a neutral wire. So as we look inside, we can see that that's a neutral. And that's the live wire, indicated here by those little lights on there. Right, and in its normal state, that's the live wire going out. That will not be live because there's no juice there because the switch isn't thrown shut. Because the bit that throws the switch is inside there. It's all worked internally. When the temperature gets a bit above that, it will throw the switch and those will become live. You won't in this case because it says there that you need it needs to be wired up before it'll uh, it'll throw the switch. But that's all it is, it's a switch. But operated by temperature rather than at all. Oh my apologies to uh, Mr Dick Buller because during the sequence of this video I've been using this tester rather than that very nice multimeter that he sent me but the reason for that is the multimeter is a fine multimeter and I thank you once again for it Dick but this allows me to have a free hand because of pointing the camera and pointing the thing and uh, that will allow me to Touch with that, touch with that, and, and see it as well. There you see uh, the uh, you've got juice there, and this also a very good tester because there's a little button at the back. You press that button, and it also gives you continuity, which is uh, it's good enough for any plumber. I mean, I know it won't tell you how many volts there is, but you've an idea yourself. You know, you're looking for two for an experienced person knows where he's leaking for 240, he knows where he's leaking for 13 or 9 amps or whatever it is, and that continue, continuity does it. It won't tell you how many ohms there are, but I mean where do you use that ohm sink? I'm going to use it on for misters. 9 times out of the 10, you can't get your probes in without, you know, and, and trying to look at a read and flicking them out and all like that. I don't bother with that. What I do, it, if a thermostat's dodgy, it's only a tenner. Try it on. Try a new one. Put a new one on. Anyway, that's that's just my way of thinking. So anyway, uh, we'll see you again. Another thing that I had to do during the sequence of this video, that's a drain valve, and it's so cold in this garage. That it wouldn't work because it's below 10 degrees. So what I had to do I had to warm it all with a paraffin stove so I could get it to work. <laughs> so there you go, that's how they work. They work off the temperature. 